a battle against Tony where what looks to be a Trick Room team? Ursula Luna and the Paragraph, maybe even the Fluttermane could be setting up a Trick Room there even? You know what? I see Ogapon there. I think I do something silly here. Let's go Indeedee and just right out of the gate, Pork Hole as well. The only issue is that uh, Urshifu. So let's also have Iron Crown then and a Cresselia, I suppose. Oh, Incineroar, Ursa Luna. Okay, well, this isn't that bad. This is not that bad. Because of Psychic Terrain, he can't fake me out. Intimidate doesn't matter because we are special attackers. I set up the sun. So this is actually really nice. I can now go for Follow Me and Terra Fire Eruption? I think he goes Terra Normal, Ursa Luna, and Hyper Voices here. Yes, Torkoal will take some damage. Hmm. Oh, this is difficult. Yeah, I think I have to do this. Uh, another thing I could have done is maybe Alluring Voice in case it had Throat Spray Hyper Voice. But then I run the risk of the Incineroar attacking into the Torkoal as well. I think he's not going to Terra here. Torkoal is showing his Terra first and he is the slowest thing on the field. Possibly the whole game, so that means he's not going to Terra. Maybe he Hot Switches? No, no Hot Switch. So he's staying in. Uh, what does he do though? Fighting Shot. I imagine that may have been going on to the Torkoal, so it's a good thing that I did switch here, or did follow me. But, I mean, I'm gonna take some damage from Hyper Voice, I think. Unless he tried to Earth Power? Uh, but otherwise then, I should get a lot of damage. Urshifu probably comes in now. Oh, Ogre Pond. Well, let's see, let's see how much damage we get here. <gasps> he went for Earth Power! He went for Earth Power! That means Torkoal stays undamaged, and it is Life Orb. Okay. Eruption in the sun, Terror Fire. How much? How much damage? <laughs> Is that a Sash? No, Ogopon just happened to live on one. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, we're, 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 we're chilling like a villain. I mean, Incineroar comes back in, but you have no... You do nothing here. Uh, my attack falls again. Oh no, whatever will I do? I will follow me again. Pretty sure Ogopon outspeeds. So, Ogopon has to attack first, and that will lower its uh, attack. Oh no, that'll... that'll uh, just KO because of Rocky Helmet. Then Incineroar can do whatever. Or Ogopon has to protect. Uh, do I just Eruption again? I could Earth Power the Incineroar. But Incineroar might parting shot. So, honestly, memes. Eruption again. Let's just do it. If it works on the first turn, why, why bother thinking of a strategy where I can just press big buttons? Ivy Cudgel. Survi it survives because we're in the sun. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. And now, please tell me you switch into something that is a lot more vulnerable than the, than the Incineroar. So I just like insta-KO it as well. And the best part is, I will probably KO whatever comes in. Unless, it, I don't know what else he has. Unless it's an Urshifu. Uh, but it's a single strike Urshifu. It's not a water type Urshifu. It's gonna, it's gonna take good damage. It might even get KO'd. Ah, uh, that's Sash. That is Sash. Okay. I now have, follow me, Rocky Helmet. He can't do anything. He, he literally cannot. He, his Urshifu will go for- unless- I mean, he could protect this turn, I guess. But like, yeah, it, it's over for him. Urshifu dies to Rocky Helmet, and then I Earth Power the Incineroar. Oh, follow me goes first. Urshifu, do you detect or like protect or anything? Wicked Blow goes first, so that means he, he has to take out the NDD. And that also means you take Rocky Helmet damage. Oh, it's perfect. Also, wait, why did... Oh yeah, Ivy Cudgel doesn't make contact, technically speaking. That's why Ogapon didn't go down. Because it's the bat that makes contact, not Ogapon itself. Flare Blitz, I mean... That does nothing. Now, recoil damage as well. I also get Earth Power. Oh, Torque Hole. Indeed. Oh, hang on. Hang on. That's a bulky Incineroar. I mean, it's still, it's still over, but I mean... I gotta put a little bit more effort into it. And I, I'm very lucky as well that uh, I do have the Torkoal because all my other Pokemon, they do like, they do no damage, technically speaking. Like, I mean, honestly, how would I have dealt with that water type uh, Ogre Pond? Nobody here on my team would have had something like, I don't have an electric move, I don't have a flying move. It was just pure raw damage is what got me through that. I don't, I, like, I only would have had Terra Water, Iron Crown for the, uh, what is it called? Ursa Luna? What else did he have? 
single strike Urshifu. Literally, Torkoal was the only option for me this entire plan, this entire match. And I just had to brute force it. And then, oh, yeah. I think now he realizes that it's a, a lost battle. Yeah, shout out to Torkoal, carrying the weight of the world. Battle against Wolf Party 07. Oh, whenever I see somebody with like 07 in their name, it's one of two possibilities. It Maybe it's like, you know, their favorite soccer players. Oh, you know, Ronaldo number seven. Or the fact that it's 07, it means that they are born in 2007, which it still baffles my mind that like somebody born in the year 2007 would be like 15 years old. Dude, that's wild. In my mind, somebody that's born in 07 is still like wet from the womb. Uh, okay, but anyway. Ooh, Ursa Luna with, I guess Meow Skirata could have Trick Room? Oleon is an interesting one, though. Let's go Iron Crown plus Indeedee as the classic. And I think I have uh, the Fire, the Sun team in the back. I may need to go Terra Water here. Or Incineroar slash the Ursaluna slash Great Tusk. Great Tusk and Chiapa. Also, whoa, whoa, this is a... Is this the first time I've, I've been noticing that the, like, the background is like at afternoon or evening time? I feel like it's always daytime, like bright and sunny. Is this like a rare, like, a, this is a shiny battlefield. Uh, also, I completely missed what that booster energy was on that Great Tusk. I'm gonna assume it was either attack or speed. Uh, oh no, we get to see it now. Anyway, okay, good. Pay attention, it is speed, okay. Uh, I feel like Terra Water is absolutely necessary here, right? Because of Great Tusk. Then we'll just Terra Blast that to get rid of it ASAP. Tian Pao, mmm... Tian Pao is what I'm concerned about. It could Ice Spinner me, getting rid of the terrain. Uh, but honestly, I don't mind that, because that means it takes damage itself. I could Trick Room, but I'm scared about what's coming up. Actually, yeah, let's go Trick Room. If I get rid of uh, uh, Great Tusk, then uh, the Chien Pao becomes the last one to move in the turn. As long as it's not Ursa Luna or something, but if it is Ursa Luna, I can maybe follow me. Yeah, I don't take too much damage from it. Uh, like, as long as Iron Crown doesn't get too low here. I hold power, that's how we go. Terra Water, that is a lot of damage. There's Ice Spinner, this breaks its Sash. We will survive. We can get up a Trick Room. Alright. Terra Blast should get a KO on Great Tusk. Uh, we are super effective. We have Booster Energy. Yes, it is. Okay, perfect. Uh, please be a fast Pokemon coming in next. Because I really want to be able to attack again with Iron Crown. Iron Crown is still quite fast, all things considered. So that is the only, like, sort of downside. Uh, or sort of <laughs> Great! The slowest thing possible. Uh, hmm. He uses Hyper Voice here, doesn't he? But at the same time, I don't know if I want to, like, switch in now. Because I want Torkoal to come in, like, fresh. Protect. And... That's just Alluring Voice, the Chien Pao, I suppose. Terra Normal on Ursa Luna, right? Yep, Terra Normal. Hyper Voice. I did kind of screw myself over by using Trick Room here. But I mean, e even if I didn't use Trick Room here on the following turn... I don't know how I would have done something here, because he would still have a Fost Chien Pao, so... It's stuck between a rock and a hard place. Oh, Protect! You set up with Calm Mind. Okay, no, that's fine. Hyper Voice probably gets a KO on Indeedee, right? Wow, it does not get a KO on Indeedee. Also, Hyper I could have Alluring Voice there, Saluna! I could have confused it! Oh, no. Okay, now we're in a tough spot. Now we sort of have to just, I mean, either pray for a double protect, or I guess, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> oh man, man, oh man, oh man. And if we bring Torkoal in now, uh, it can't, oh well, no, never mind. Empoleon, ooh. Yeah, without the psychic terrain, we are susceptible to priority moves, so Torkoal can get hit to lower the eruption damage. Oh wait, we actually got the, the, hyper, uh, the double protect. Wait, that's actually kind of huge for us. That means we can bring Torkoal in. Torkoal can then go for a... Uh, eruption. Ursuluna then goes... Uh, does spread damage. Probably takes out the Iron Crown. But I think I'm, I'm okay here. Maybe. <laughs> okay, Sun comes out. We can go for a... Tachyon Cutter, I suppose, into Ursuluna. But I'm, I'm expecting to lose Iron Crown here. And we go Eruption as well. We will go first, but unless he uses um, Vacuum Wave. No, he doesn't. Okay, Eruption in the sun. How much does this do? It's not enough for the Ursaluna. It's so close. 
Ursuluna goes for Earth Power, it gets a KO. Maybe we then at least still get a, a KO with uh, Tachyon Cutter, who knows? But no, Empoleon's gonna go first. Air Slash? Does it get a KO? No, it doesn't get a KO. Okay, wait, there, there is still a possibility. Critical hit, by the way. This is where I would love Tachyon Cutter to work like Dragon Darts and have the second hit go into the, uh, what is it called? Empoleon. All right, now we send in the... That's crazy that he went for Earth Power. Maybe, yeah, maybe Hyper Voice wouldn't have gotten a KO. Okay, Chien Pao comes back in. They have Sucker Punch, they have Vacuum Wave. Uh, Protosynthesis activates for me though. I, I think I win this. I protect again. Shout out to the double protect, by the way, earlier. How many turns left on Quick Room? One turn left. I mean, we're in the sun. I think Flame Charge might just honestly get a KO on Chien Pao. Yeah, let's go, let's go Flame Charge. Sucker Punch, oh, you fool. What does Empoleon do though? Ice Beam. Ice Beam, nah, I should be okay. We're neutral because we are still hard fire, flame charge. We're in the sun. Does get a KO on Chien Pao. That increases our speed, which is going to be good because Trick Room expires here. So on the following turn, we can then outspeed. And we are good to go. Whew, that Ursaluna was very scary. I do wonder if Hyper Voice would have gotten a KO on the Torkoal there. Like, did he have to use Earth Power there or not? Flare Blitz in the sun. Yeah, that's a dead Empoleon. Woo! Thank you, Iron Crown, for tanking out, not only getting a double uh, protect, but also tanking out that air cutter as well. And, and also, honestly, the, the tall call for doing so much damage that turn. A battle against Casey, a smiley face, with, ooh, uh, also like a slowish looking team with some setups, because I'm seeing screens with the Grimmsnarl, as well as Follow Me in DD, or Trick Room even in DD, as well as Wigglytuff. Uh, Go Lurk, King Gambit, and a Ferrograph. They really don't want me to use priority moves. Psychic Terrain and Armatail. I mean, if they're gonna set up Psychic Terrain for me, maybe I don't need to go with Ndidi, but uh, I'll do it just in case anyway. It'll help out, and then we'll have, of course, Iron Crown on the side. And in the back, like, I, I do think that they might go Trick Room. If they do, then I'm fine with that. I'll lead with Torkoal, or I'll have Torkoal and Gouging Fire in the back to make use of that. Ferrigraph in DD, okay. Armatail plus... Oh, I say Armatail. Uh, Hyper Voice maybe plus Trick Room? Hmm. Alright, Quark Drive though, special attack boost. If they set up Trick Room, that helps me if anything else. Uh, here's the important thing though. If he does go Hyper Voice, I could try an Alluring Voice it. If we go after it, then we get to confuse the Ferrigraph. So I'll try that out. Terra Water, Terra Blast would at least be neutral, but I mean Tachyon Cutter also can at least do some good damage. We'll use that on the Indeedee. Helping hand. Ooh, it, this might be Hyper Voice. Does it go before us or after us though? Tachyon Cutter does okay damage to Indeedee. Uh, one more, we'll get a KO. Uh, alluring Voice. Oh, we go before it. Okay, that kind of sucks. Because that means then that he can go for Shadow Ball with Helping Hand. We do survive though. Ooh, okay. Here's what we do. Follow me then. And Tachyon cut out the Ferrograph. I completely forgot that it could have Shadow Ball. We are a Psychic type after all, this uh, Iron Crown. Follow me. Okay, we're thinking the exact same thing, but uh, let's see. If he Shadow Balls again and I follow me, this would be amazing. But he probably expects me to follow me now. I wouldn't be surprised if here is where he goes for Hyper Voice. Uh, Tachyon cut out takes out in DD. It would be cool if it was like the Dragapult where the other hit goes to the other side. Trick Room. Ooh, okay. I mean, hmm. Raging Cobalt. Raging Cobalt. Iron Crown now does move last though because of the speed tiers. He does, technically speaking, still have Hyper Voice. So I could try an Alluring Voice now. Uh, also, King Gambit comes in, which is very dangerous for us. Both of us, actually. Here's all true. I'll try and do it. I'll try an Alluring Voice for a graph. And let's go into... I mean, if Trick Room is up now... It's a great time to go into Torkoal. I'm just worried about Kowtow Cleave coming into us. Because he's probably attacking the Iron Crown slot, right? I had to pause to make sure not to call it a Raging Cobalt. Uh, but let's see then. Torkoal comes in, we set up the sun. We're in Trick Room, so we will be first to move. But do we take damage from this though? Yes, we do take damage. So how much? 70-ish. And there's Hyper Voice. Oh, critical hit on Indeedee. And we do get very low on Torkoal, so we can't really go for eruption here. Special attack increase means that when we use Alluring Voice here, that will be a confusion. Not a lot of damage, but the confuse is going to be great for us. Hmm. Here's what we'll do. I'll follow me again. 
And oh. Heatwave. I wouldn't need to Terra Fire for this. I think I don't need to Terra Fire for this. So I'll Heatwave. He can't Sucker Punch us because of uh, what is it called? Psychic Terrain. So this is guaranteed to go through. Heatwave goes on both. Takes out Frigriff, does not take out King Gambit, but I have the f follow me, so we're still okay, we're still okay, we're still okay. It just kind of sucks that um, we don't get a 1 hit KO. Tata Cleave does take out the Ndidi. Ooh, Rocky Helmet does not take it out though. Alright, but now we can send in Gouging Fire, who has gonna have Protosynthesis activated thanks to the sun, and Golo comes out for them. Hmm. King Gambit's still dangerously low. Photosynthesis activates, boosting our attack. Let's see, Golurk is... Ground Ghost. Ground! Oh, we have Earthquake or something here. Let's Protect just in case. Or Burning Bulwark, sorry, not Protect. And uh, let's go for another Heat Wave. Terra... Ground... Oh, Terra Fire maybe for extra damage on Golurk, but... Two turns left of Trick Room. If we go down on Torkoal here... Uh, we come in, we protect... Okay, no, no, yeah, yeah, we're okay, we're okay, we're okay. Uh, I'll save my Terra for Terra Water, Terra Blast, uh, on the Iron Crown. Also, we don't know what his Terra is yet, so let's have a look and see here. Heatwave goes first, it misses on somebody. <gasps> misses on King Gambit, no! That's the one I want- oh, if I, and if I did go Terra Fire, I would have gotten the KO on Golurk. Oh, I am so greedy. I am so, so greedy. Kata Cleave, I mean, at least this will KO the, the King Gambit because of Recoil, right? But still. Uh, or not recall, sorry. No, 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 it, it was um, Rock Yamas that I had on the other one, right. In an ideal scenario, King Gambit would have gone down this turn because they would have hit, or in an ideal scenario, I would have terrified and gotten a KO on both of them. I don't know what I'm saying here. He now also has a Sucker Punch into me, but I can protect this turn. High horsepower is something I have to worry about, though. So maybe I just go for a protect, oh, Terra here. Oh no, it's Terra Fire still. Uh, all right. Breaking Swipe should at least KO King Gambit. And protect with Iron Crown. I'm making this so much more difficult than it should be. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we had the perfect setup for Torkoal anyway. Sun plus Trick Room. That is like the go-to when you're like, okay, now it's time for Charcoal uh, Terra Fire. Okay, Kowtow Cleave, not Sucker Punch, interesting. But this is the final turn of Trick Room, so... High Horsepower goes first. We survive? Yes, we do survive. Okay, that's perfectly fine. Breaking Swipe should finish off King Gap. Oh, and it also just KOs the Go Look as is. Very nice. That that burn actually ma matters a lot, I think. In that... Would it have KO'd us if it wasn't for that? I didn't see if it did hop. I think it... Yeah, it would have absolutely KO'd us, I think. Thanks for making it to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, why not consider liking and subscribing so you can be notified for the next upload. And while you're at it, why not leave a comment down below too? Until next time, though. Bye-bye.